Good morning, this is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about three minutes. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is that this is a situation where I'm recording myself, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time as a, compared to having already recorded everything and now I'm coming back and explaining what's already happened. So this is not a trade recap. This is not a post commentary. I'm literally recording myself real time, seeing everything for the first time. So in other words, if you just want an unscripted, raw, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. I'll be watching Tesla out of the opening gates and potentially doing some options on it. Um, for those of you that are maybe new to the channel, uh, then I, yes, I do trade options too. Now for those of you longer time viewers, I'm sure you've seen op or videos where I've traded options before. So this is nothing new, uh, but it has been a while since I've done options. Um, so, uh, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it, specifically with Tesla, just because Tesla has been very volatile. Uh, but I will go ahead and pause for now and I'll be back at the open. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up I'm trying to, but all right, there we go. Picked up two puts at $36, looking for this to come down some more here. To at least 1062.50. So let's see if this wants to continue to 1065, definitely going to be that key breakdown point. So we'll see if it wants to come down to it. There's 10, there we go, good, good, good. Trying for some at 38, we'll see if I can get filled, there we go. Let's see if we can get some movement down to 1060. Would be very curious at that level. Yeah, let's see if this thing can make its way down to 1060. Okay, took out that for a $310 trade. Not too bad when it's 933. Um, so three minutes in and $310, uh, I, I can live with that. I'm not a greedy savage at all. I'm not done with Tesla yet. Uh, if this thing wants to go sideways, I would be potentially interested in a break of 1061-ish. Um, well, there it goes. Uh, but I thought it might have needed a bounce, potentially bounce there, uh, but it had it consolidated and then come down. But I mean, look at this, it's been going straight down. So I played that one a bit wrong. Of course, we're all speaking in hindsight now. Wow, look at that thing go. Well, a complete and utter gap and trap there. But I'm happy with how that turned out. Let's come on over here to MRNA. I'm gonna trade to my stock screen here. Uh, so 312.50, but wow, this one is choppy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to pass on this one for now. Yeah, this 10, 58-ish area, very important, very interesting. But I, I just can't take it right now. Look how overextended this is. And maybe I'm gonna look stupid because this thing just keeps on dropping straight down. Uh, but it's just, that's too high risk. Too high risk to be taking it right now after it's already dropped down so far. And again, maybe I'm gonna look smart here. Maybe I'm gonna look stupid for not taking the trade, but uh, it's just something that, you know, statistically speaking, you know, you're not gonna make a living taking action after something has moved this far. And I realize I'm looking stupid and sounding stupid because, well, geez, Clay, it keeps on going down. Yeah, that's true, but uh, you know, this is definitely the exception and not the rule right now.
and I realized it went down, but that would not have been enough had I gotten in to, to make any money. Well, I, let me take that back, make worthwhile enough money from the options. Okay, I will go ahead and, well, yeah, mRNA, still catching my eye. See, right now, and then Tesla right now is starting to bounce. So I'm still interested if it wants to bounce and then maybe come back down, but right now, yeah, 212. Certainly a very interesting level here. RIVN. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Now, not to pat myself on the back here, but that is exactly why you don't do what I was saying. That's exactly why I get it. It feels like get short, get short. But that movement right there, had I gotten short, that little movement there was not enough, especially from an option standpoint, to make it worthwhile. And you can see people that chased, they have either been stopped out or they are currently getting roasted right now. Um, so. That's just a, a big old bounce that's occurring right now. If this gets up towards around 20, or, or excuse me, 1075, I could be interested in maybe trying to pick up some puts here if the price wants to come up to me. But yeah, Tesla's first got to get up around the 1075 mark. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give an update. That's why you don't want to chase, because if you're getting into chasing, uh, you know, you can get yourself chopped up, stopped out real quick, or if you're undisciplined, you can get yourself just in a whole lot of hurt as uh, you know, like I said, anybody that was going short down there, they are, they're not feeling so good right about now. But I will go ahead and pause. All right, well, I'm just getting back to my computer, haven't been paying attention, been off doing stuff um, and uh, haven't, haven't been around. Point being, um, I'm, I'm happy with the, the $300 in a few minutes, especially when uh, this was me just getting back into options. Um, and I wanna just boil in a little learning lesson here that when you are getting into something, especially if it's new. Now, this wasn't new in the sense of I've never heard of options, I've never done of options. No, I, I've done options for a long time, but I, I, I was new relative to, it's been a while, and especially it's been a while relative to Tesla. Uh, so when you're new to anything or it's, it's just been a while, just ease it and go small, go slow. I realize that, and this will mean more to those that have watched other videos, but when I've done options, you've seen me do five contracts at a time. So had I done five contracts on that first trade, I'd be up uh, you know, a whole lot more than I am right now, uh, you know, close to $1,000, but, but I'm quote unquote only up $300. But that's not the point. The point is, think about it, normally it was doing five, but by easing in, did less than 50% position size. And the counterpoint that you gotta remember is, well, what happens had I been wrong, right? Let's just say that, ah, you know, I had some cobwebs, ah, you know, a little rusty. Well, geez, I don't wanna be rusty at full position size. Now, in this situation, I wasn't rusty. Things worked out just fine. But had I been rusty, and you, you don't know whether or not you're gonna be rusty, whether or not you're gonna need to work out some kinks when, when you're just getting into it. So don't lie to yourself like, oh no, it's been a while since I've done this, or I'm just brand new to doing this. It's gonna be perfect, I'll be flawless. I haven't, I haven't made any mistakes in my simulator on paper trading. Don't, that's, that's lying to yourself, okay? So like I said, the pointer being is, if you're gonna be, whoops, oh, I forgot about that. Ah, that's a little rusty. Just do it on much less position size than what your normal uh, position size would be. And then also be ready for the voice that shows up where if there is no rust and things work out just fine, then the voice is gonna show up saying, you're an idiot. Why, why did you only do less than 50% position size? And just remember why well, I did it because I, you know, you're Mr. Voice, you're talking to me in hindsight. So whenever you're scaling in, um, you know, to whether it's a brand new strategy, just brand new to trading in this situation, new relative to it, it had been a while since I've done options with uh, in general and with Tesla, just start small. Make sure that you're not rusty. Make sure that you got things figured out with smaller position size, because if you are rusty, I'm gonna repeat this a million times, if you are rusty, I would rather have you being rusty with much smaller position size than full position size. And if you are not rusty, fantastic. You still got a good problem on your hands. 
you made money, just not as much money as you could have made. Really, are, are, is, is that really that bad of a situation that, geez, I only made $300 in three minutes compared to potentially $1,000? It sounds bad, but I still made $300, right, in basically five minutes. So just keep perspective and just remember that. So that's why I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, you know, got some, uh, and, and really Tesla, I don't know what it wants to do regardless. I have no problem admitting that. I mean, does this thing wanna break to new highs? I, I mean, look at this bounce. Again, and go, and the other lesson, I forgot about that. Think back to when I was talking about, yeah, you know, I don't wanna do that. Okay, it dropped, uh, yeah, but it barely moved. And then look at this thing, just going, going, and going. So. Hopefully people that did chase, they were at least disciplined enough to get stopped out because if they didn't stop out, if they're holding and hoping, they're getting absolutely destroyed right now. So that was the other little, uh, you know, unintended because like I said, these are live. So I didn't know that lesson was going to come about, but we have that as a good lesson there too. But whenever you're starting something new, whether it be stocks, options, Forex, futures, crypto, just start small. Whatever your intended position size is, definitely be less than 50% of it. Like I said, for me, normally I'm doing five contracts. I was less than 50% on that one with only two contracts. Um, and it, it's it, it's, a, it's a smart way to go about it. And you'll be very happy you do go about it that way, especially if you are rusty. So I think I've beat that dead horse enough. But like I said, it's a very, very important topic that I can't get enough. And I'm trying to be proactive against the questions in the comment section, which is a good question. Clay, I noticed in your past videos, you, you, did, you were doing five contracts. Had you done five contracts on Tesla, you would have made a whole lot more. Again, good observation, fair point, but I'm just answering that question why I only did two contracts uh, because it's the smart thing to do. It's the it's the responsible thing to do and you owe it to yourself to do that because you just don't wanna be find yourself in a, oops, I'm kind of rusty. Oops, I forgot about that. Oh crap, I'm at full position size. That's, and, and I speak from experience. That's not a fun place to be in. So if you do enjoy this video and if you want me to keep on trading options, let me know down in the comment section. Because these videos are live, they're very difficult to make. I have to talk to you. I have to make alerts in the chat room. I have to think about my own trade plans. I, have to, I mean, when it comes to options, I have to pick out strike prices. There's a lot of stuff going on, which makes it very difficult and why I don't do these videos every day. But I will continue to do them as long as I know that there's interest. So if you do find these videos helpful, if you want me to keep trading options, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. In fact, if you want me to keep trading options, just comment options and I'll know that, uh, but if you don't really care, well then just say hi, give me a smiley face emoji, but hitting the like button, leaving a simple comment, go a long way in communicating to me that you enjoy these videos. As long as I know people are enjoying the live trade videos, I will continue to do them. So big two lessons here and I'll wrap it up. One, don't chase. Chasers that got in right here, yeah, you got a little bit of a move, not enough, absolutely crushed. And then second, when you're new to something or just coming back to it and it's been a while, start small. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.